Okay, this is Frank from Gettysburg Historic Walking Tours, and I'm standing here looking toward the Trossel Farm, which I'm pointing at now. And I'm actually on the property of the J. Weikert Farm in the corner, the point area of the woods. And today we're going to look at a secret of the battlefield of Gettysburg known as the D.A. 140 PV rock or the David Aitchison rock. You can see big round top and little round top there in the distance. And just over here where I'm pointing is the Weikert farm, the J Weikert farm. And we're looking at this little boulder here, which I've placed a flag. And as we walk over to it, you're going to see a inscription on the rock that says DA 140 PV. And that stands for David Aitchison. Captain David Aitchison was a college student at Western Pennsylvania's Washington College. He was in the class of 1863 when he and a couple of friends chose to leave the school and recruit which would become the 140th Pennsylvania Company C. He received his commission on August the 22nd, 1862, and they were mustered into service September the 8th. Of 1862. Now, during the Battle of Gettysburg on July 2nd of 1863, David Aitchison actually passed this area and headed into the wheat field and up onto the, the heights off of the wheat field where he was mortally wounded. And then he was carried back backwards here. He died and was buried at the base of this rock. And at, on the rock was carved. D.A. for David Aitchison. Now, depending on what source you use, somewhere between 1868 and 1881, um, a former member of the 148th Pennsylvania visited this spot um, and deepened the inscription and also added the 140 PV. Most likely, this was done... Uh, later at the 25th anniversary uh, when they dedicated their 140th monument on the Gettysburg battlefield. Most likely they had an uh, inscri uh, uh, inscriber of stone come out here and deepen the DA and also add the 140 PV. Now I'm going to show you from the woods here how to get back to the Weikert farm lane. And you know in the summertime if you attempt to do this uh, these weeds are going to be very high. The ground is very wet and marshy, and it is filled, and I mean filled, with ticks. There's also some snake activity in the high grass. So actually, the best time to do this or make this journey um, is about when I'm doing it now here in November. You know, the bugs and uh, have disappeared for the season. Uh, the grass is dying. And there in front of us is the John Weikert farm. So we're going to go from the point of the woods where we started. And I'll point over here where the rock is. Um, and then we're going to head back through this deep grass marshy area along this fence line toward the Weikert farm. And it'll end up over at the Weikert farm lane. And of course, that Weikert farm lane has some history because that is where a lot of the 5th Corps troops were marching when the action of the wheat field began. Um, some of those men were sent over to the wheat field, which would be off to the right of the Weikert farm lane. And of course, off to the left was taken uh, Joshua Chamberlain and Vincent's brigade to go defend Little Round Top. And again, the John Weikert farm is that yellow uh, goldish colored house and there's the point of woods where the David Aitchison rock is so uh, we're making our way up here there's a little path you can see I'm walking on um, and it ends up right here where I have my car parked at the John Weikert farm so again this has been a video the secrets of the battlefield the David Aitchison rock his original burial location um, before his body was disinterred on July 13th, 1863. This is historian Frank P. Marone Jr. And this is Gettysburg Historic Walking Tours.